Hello and a very warm welcome driver ratings for the Austrian Grand Prix. All 20 drivers covered as we rate them out of 10. We thought we had the result and 4 hours later it gets changed and I had to change my driver ratings so let's jump into it. All 20 drivers covered as we rate them out of 10 for their weekend. Red Bull. Right, in we go. Max, 10. Perfect weekend. Pole, sprint race win, fastest lap, race win, dominant, in a different league. Easy peasy for the Dutchman. Sergio Perez, 6. Now, you can only give him 6. Once again, he fluffed his lines in qualifying. He got the first warning, didn't take it. Got the second warning, didn't take it. Third time lucky, not for Sergio. And he ends up 15th. A great fight back in the race as he gain, comes back to third. But that qualifying is unacceptable by Perez. So I only give him six. And yeah, he's too nice. Look at the sprint race. He pushed Max on the grass and then basically left the door wide open for him to come through. Next, Ferrari. Charles Leclerc, 10. Uh, yeah, great weekend by Charles. Um, yeah, he nearly got pole position. Uh, brilliant P2 after a difficult season. Was qu quite slow in the first stint, but he had the first pit stop, so that made his race. Yeah, good weekend by Charles. Um, yeah, Carlos Sainz, 10. Now I'm giving him 10 because I thought he was brilliant this weekend, Sainz. But he got shafted once again. Yeah. Uh, was third all over the board really. And then he was quicker than Charles. Ferrari didn't let him pass. And then they had to double stack. And Carlos was then shafted. Dropped to six. Then he got a five second penalty. Um, and then he finished fourth. And then... F1 want to play a clown show and he ends up 6 because of the track limits. Changing the result afterwards was a disgrace and we will be doing a rant on that tomorrow. Here we are, the petulant babies, or as you know them, Aston Martin. Um, 5, Alonso. Average, average at best. Um, yeah, very average. No pace for Aston. Um, yeah, he finished six, but because they took the toys out of the pram, he boosted to fifth. Uh, Lance Stroll, five. He actually beat Alonso in qualifying. Um, finished P10 with a three-stop strategy, but then boosted to nine as Aston threw the toys out. I mean, obviously, it's beneficial for Aston to complain because they've gained a couple more points. But are you telling me... Alonso and Stroll haven't been out of bounds in 71 laps. Yeah, I don't think so either. Oof. Into this, uh, uh, into Mercedes. Wow, tractor-esque. Um, yeah, we will be going brutal on these two. Lewis Hamilton, four. Um, yeah. I mean, for your boss to come on the radio and basically tell you to shut up and stop whining... Pretty much sums up Lewis's weekend, moaning constantly on the team radio about track limits. And Lewis was the first to get a penalty. And then not only has he got a penalty, he's then got another penalty post-race for track limits again. He, he had George's number this weekend. Um, yeah, he was it, it was... Going well, P5, then sprint, he got his time deleted. That was a mess. And then in the race, they didn't have pace. I believe Mercedes will be back at Silverstone. George Russell, two. And that's being kind. George Russell was wank this weekend. No shower in it. He was shit. P11, uh, shambles. He had a good sprint race. That was about the only positive. And then he goes seventh in the race because of Lewis's penalty. Um, bloody shocking, and not good enough. Oh shit! I nearly pressed the wrong button there. Lando Norris ten. 
Oh, F1 fan gamer. He'll have budgie smugglers on and, you know, snorkeling a lot. Uh, Lando Norris, 10. Qualifying star, driver of the day. He finished fifth, gets boosted to fourth. Brilliant by Lando Norris. Carrying McLaren on his shoulders at the minute. He had the upgrade. He loves Austria. A good result comes. Oscar Piastri, 3. Yeah, P13, he made, he got into Q3, but he got his lap time deleted, and then in the race, it's Oscar's mistake, a big mistake, because he ran into the back, I, I forget who it was, was it Magnussen? He ran into the back of someone, damaged his wing, and then it was a test session for Oscar afterwards. Jumping into Alfa Romeo. Pontash, Valtteri Bottas. Yeah, finishes 15th. I've not got much written down for Valtteri. Um, where did he get in quali? 13th. Yeah, I'm, I've not been impressed with Bottas. I'm not that impressed with Alfa Romeo as a whole, to be honest. Yeah, not good. Not good. Guang Yu Zhou, 4. Now, he got boosted up to P12 after an Albon penalty, I believe. So, yeah. Alfa Romeo, they were brilliant last season. Not so good this. Esteban Ocon, four. Um, yeah. Qualified 12th, seventh in the sprint race. Finished 14th, disappointing. And he got a ton of track limits. Yeah, I believe Ocon may have got the most. Yeah, I could even go harsher with Ocon. Gasly, 7. Now I'm going to give Gasly a high mark. I thought he had a good weekend. He had Ocon's number for the majority. Um, yeah, he did finish ninth. No. Yeah, he finished ninth. Is that right? Yeah, he got a penalty, didn't he? So, yeah. Yeah. 10th for Gasly. It's very confusing with these post-race penalties. This is why they should be, like, scrapped. Give a bigger penalty in the race, and then they won't do it. 1 foot 1, 0. Um, shocking. Qualified 16th. And then in the race, I don't know what he's doing, right? He goes round the outside. It's a lovely move. Smooth on the brake pedal is 1 foot 1. And then he goes down into turn 4. And he would have played bowling if he didn't go through the gravel. A ton of penalties. Um, yeah. Big mistake by one foot one. Um, yeah, not a good race as well by Sonoda. He picked up a ton of penalties. And he got a post-race penalty to top it off. Nick De Vries, zero. Um, amazing. Filling in for Albon at Williams. But since then, it's been a disgrace. I don't know what's up with this guy. Um, yeah, another one who picked up a post-race penalty. Nico Hulkenberg, 9. The bandwagon continues. I'm almost a Nico Hulkenberg fanboy. Sensational. Get up there, the big German. He gets points in the sprint race, P6. Um, absolutely sensational. Running at P2 at times. Um, yeah. And then he got big points, but in the main race, retired due to a loss of power. An outstanding weekend. And the reason I give him nine, he's ahead of Kevin Magnussen in the drivers. He's smashing Magnussen every weekend. He's out qualifying him. It's a brilliant return by the lanky German. Kevin Magnussen, zero. Now, I'm honestly, I think I'll give him four zeros in a row. What is going on with Kevin Magnussen? He is shit at the minute. I bigged him up. I thought he'd do well at Austria, as he's done well here in the past. Just dreadful. Schooled by Nico Hulkenberg. Alex Albon, 6. Yeah, a decent weekend by Alex. Uh, not one of his best, not one of his worst, but yeah, picked up a post-race penalty. Um, yeah. Logan Sargent, 5. Now, that's the highest mark I'd give him since Bahrain. Credit where it's due, Logan Sargent. 
I've seen a bit of performance. Um, yeah, not a bad race by Logan this time. Pretty decent. Although he did pick up a post-race penalty. But yeah, a better performance by Logan. That's where it's at. So there we have it. Driver ratings for the Austrian Grand Prix. A track limit fest. A five second penalty fest. Very confusing. Next week we go to Silverstone. I can't wait for that. Comment down below your thoughts. And driver ratings. There we go. Does divide opinion. But yeah, one of my favourite videos to do. Be sure to check out my rant tomorrow on penalties. <laughs>